हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिक्स वाला आई माय सेल्फ शिवम दक्षित वेलकमिंग यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ फिजिक्स वाला गेट वाला इन दिस ब्यूटीफुल सेशन दैट हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर गेट 2027 नॉट ओनली स्टार्ट व्हाट थिंग्स यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ ड्यूरिंग योर प्रिपरेशन एंड बेसिकली प्रिपरेशन डज नॉट मींस दैट यू आर कंप्लीटिंग द सिलेबस ओनली राइट यू हैव टू कंप्लीट द सिलेबस कॉन्सेप्चुअली राइट यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस द क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस गेट पीवाईक्यूज यू हैव टू सॉल्व ऑल द डीपीपी प्रॉब्लम्स यू हैव टू गिव टेस्ट सीरीज यू हैव टू मैनेज योर टाइम सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स कंबाइंडली इफ यू आर डूइंग दैट देन ओनली यू कैन गेट सक्सेस एंड यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इफ यू रियली वांट्स टू गेट सक्सेस in gate exam or any other exam or any other task then you have to maintain the consistency this is the mantra i am telling you success is not coming with something that you are doing occasionally success is coming with something that you are doing consistently so here i have seen that when you have a span of 2 years right then people are doing the preparation casually some 1 2 3 days or one week they will study a lot then after that one week they will leave completely then again they will start studying so this is not the way to get success remember one word consistency is going to be the key right if you really wants to get success then you have to study consistently not required that you are studying 10 hour in a day 20 hour in a day 15 hour in a day no that's not required right especially when you have two year of time but then also even though you have a uh, two year of time and every day you are giving three to four hours for your uh, gate preparation that is more than enough more than enough but you have to give this time consistently right even uh, there was one movie in hindi uh, chandni chowk to china i i don't know whether you uh, have like uh, heard about that movie or not there was one dialogue in that movie that villain is actually saying that i'm i'm not in danger from the thousand move that you know that you have practiced once right i am danger from the from that one move very important that one move that you have practiced thousand times please try to understand right this is the game of consistency when you are doing some particular work and you are doing practice 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 consistently then you are going to be master on that right right there is a uh, one one art uh, in kung fu kung fu may, you may hype you may heard about it that is very much famous in china so in kung fu actually the same thing same thing you have to do consistently thousand times then only you are going to be get master if you know thousands of steps thousands of different moves but you have practice only once or twice then those things are not going to help you correct so my point is very much clear here that if you really wants to get success in gate exam then you have to uh, revise the syllabus consistently you have to study consistently you have to practice question consistently then only you can think of getting a uh, top 10 rank right now the second most important point that whenever a, a student starts studying no so they they start studying from the reference books the standard reference books i would say please first go and understand your syllabus right and after understanding your syllabus understand the pattern of the question asked by the iit correct and then only you refer any book right see sometime students are very much motivated they come to me and say that sir i am very much motivated tell me which book i should have to follow for thermodynamics let's say i am saying that uh, uh, you know say sanjil sanjil is a very good book right but how many pages are there approximately 1500 pages are there a4 size book is there and that to the 1500 pages are there if you are not rajnik and you cannot uh, you cannot read more than 10 pages in a day so 10 pages even if you are studying 10 pages in a day consistently previous step consistency is not the only key i would say it is a very important key right but it is not the only key suppose a, one student is there and he is consistently 10 pages he is studying from sanjal book right so how many days are going to require approximately 150 days 5 months are required my dear student friends 5 months are required to complete only one subject 
so if you are even if you are if you have one to two year of time then only hardly you can complete four to five subjects that's it right and that too also if you are thinking only reading book is going to uh, uh, give you the top 10 rank then you are 100 percent wrong right so so what what is my point is first you have to understand what is your syllabus and what exam actually wants from you correct now so exam is basically aptitude exam it is it is a graduate aptitude test in engineering so along with the concept you must know that how to apply this concept in real numerical problems because 90 85 percent problem more than 85 percent problems are numerical problems so that you must be remember very much uh, important and one very important point i would like to suggest if you have two year of time then you can start with mathematics right mathematics even aptitude also mathematics or why mathematics aptitude i will start with the technical subject listen my dear student friends the weightage of the weightage of the mathematics and aptitude is approximately 30 percent 28 to 30 percent is only weightage of the mathematics and general aptitude and one more thing if your mathematics is good if your aptitude level is good definitely it is going to help you to understand the technical subjects also so my personal suggestion is it is up to you right it is not a, a hard and fast rule but it is my personal suggestion if you can start then you start with the with the mathematics this is going very very uh, uh, good point now the second very important sir you are saying that not not to follow uh, uh, standard books i am not saying this please listen here i am not saying this don't follow the standard books you can follow the standard books but you cannot follow the standard books blindly blindly right where first place to learn first understand the syllabus then understand uh, from which topics questions are mostly asked what type of questions are asked and then you can refer the books and even even see in in my time like uh, 50, uh, 10 to 15 year back when i have given that uh, gauge at that time it was very difficult to collect the resources proper resources right because resources were very very less right we have to uh, study from the uh, that standard books only and that is going to be very much difficult but nowadays it is in your fingertip right you, there are number of coachings even physics wala content if you see resources if you see it is one of the best best and best in the market I'm, i would say so you can like in physics wala like from last two three years we are compiling the best questions we are compiling the best material and it is like okay gate wala may start three years before okay i understand right but i am teaching from last 13 years right so i am teaching from last 13 years so i know from from which topic uh, questions are mostly asked so the content which i prepared the the, the topic which i am teaching that is actually weightage wise so it will help you correct and one more one problem is there here the problem is that in my time resources were very very less but in your time resources are very much huge sometimes students are thinking that okay sir uh, actually i have studied thermodynamics from you but i think in some other platform some other teacher might teach something extra eh? something better so i am planning to thermodynamics once i completed i am planning to go in another platform and uh, watch the thermodynamic lecture again and then again you will go down like you are studying thermodynamics itself from two three different teachers and uh, see if leaks thermodynamics is not the only subject right approximately 10 uh, uh, 10 technical subjects are there right two uh, one mathematics is there that is a big subject then aptitude is there then practice is there test series is there if you are going to study the same subject from different sources then you will never able to complete the syllabus my dear student friends and the second important point thermodynamics i am also teaching some other faculties also teaching i am not saying i am best but the way i am teaching the way he is teaching might be different now two different ways you are studying to solve the same problem you might be confused right so i would suggest you to use limited and the limited resources 
and you go and you see don't don't listen me my dear student friends go and ask the toppers last year even in mechanical uh, third rank fourth rank fifth rank pi second rank uh, xc second rank uh, eighth rank right in top 10 itself more than 15 20 ranks uh, counting all the branches 15 20 ranks was from the physics wala gate wala you are getting my point so our our material is best that i can say honestly honestly i am saying this see I, if you are if you are using that material if you are taking admission or something i am not going to get benefited directly but 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 genuine information i need to give you right this is this is the important point right so and i don't have any reason yaar i don't have any reason to give you wrong wrong information okay now come to the fourth and very much important that concept clarity is very much important i agree with that but if you are only studying concept it is not going to help you if you are thinking that if you read first law of thermodynamics four times then you will able to solve all the questions numerical problems then it's wrong if you read the concept thoroughly and after that if you solve the problem then also you will not able to solve right see after reading first law of thermodynamics entropy or any other topic right if you think that now you studied concept thoroughly so you will able to solve all the problem right then it is not going to happen why because question solving is a different technique and that will only come when you solve more and more problems right so fundamentally you must be very much strong whatever questions we are solving in class that you have to solve again right like example problems i can say and then you have to attempt all the practice like dpps right daily practice problems plus pyqs correct this is and you know uh, believe or not i would say pyq and mock test test is a game changer if you go believe my dear student friends if you go and read all the concepts of your syllabus of gate and go and write the gate exam it is very much difficult to get even more than 50 marks even some people may not clear the gate exam also so the final test series right this test series and pyqs pyq is a game changer and one more thing in two year of your preparation at least you have to solve pyqs three times minimum three times first time when you are uh, uh, studying the subject first time right then second time when you are revising the subject first time then third time when you are revising the subject last time correct right? so minimum three times you have to solve the uh, gate like gate pyqs that is a game changer i'm telling you right so these are the few very very much important points so i would summarize here that first you have to maintain the consistency consistency is a very important key but it's not the only key right now you have to uh, develop your aptitude you have to understand the syllabus you have to understand the uh, pattern of the question and third i suggest you to start with mathematics and aptitude fourth use a limited and trustable resources and fifth and uh, very much important that you have to solve more and more problem practice test series and pyq must be solved minimum three times so these are the summary of this particular session so i hope you are able to understand i wish you all the best for your upcoming future exam right and uh, even if you uh, need any kind of help uh, i am here with you gatewala is with you uh if suppose some query you have in your mind and it is not covered in this particular session then comment in the comment section i will definitely reply okay thank you thank you very much